Hey everyone, a uh, quick tutorial here how to put together uh, your PVC, your T-joint piece, uh, and I think I'll probably do your elbow joint here in the same video. So uh, you can kind of create these two parts. I know that's usually the trickiest part for most people uh, for this C-perch parts, at least the basic portions here, uh, where we'll have the pipes created, and I believe most of you guys can get those done at this point, be able to create your uh, circle here and then create an extrusion. Um, I would just do the two concentric circles and then extrude them to these different lengths. Uh, add the holes. Uh, probably the easiest way is just to cr use the flat plane and then create the whole service based on the location. Okay, uh, so if you need help with those, I can help you with those, but uh, the tutorial videos will focus on the T joint and the elbow. All right, now typically speaking, uh, when I first create a on shape document, I'm just going to keep adding parts to it. So you kind of create everything in one uh, on shape document. So again, you hit on the little plus button down there, and then you have the Create Part Studio. Okay, so again, I'm going to create a new T joint and a new elbow joint. All right, now, so for the T joint, I'm thinking uh, I really have two cylinders are attached to each other. And from there, they're kind of, um, they're just getting shelled out. They're hollowed out. Okay, so uh, in order to create this, I'm going to start by, I'm going to work with my top view. So I'm going to sketch on the top view. And then I'll make it normal to that. Okay, uh, so for this first one, I'm going to make sure the size of the circle. And I'm going to use my outer diameter because I'm going to shell it out afterwards. Uh, and I notice that I'm in millimeters, so I need to change my workspace units. Click on workspace units. I'm in millimeters right now. I'm going to change that to inches. And uh, while I'm at it, I'm going to change this to pounds, since that's probably what we're going to be talking about. Okay, so from there, again, I'm going to sketch on this view. Oops, I'm creating a new a second sketch. So I'm going to just work off from my first sketch. All right, so I'm going to look at my circle. I'm look, again, I'm going to draw out the outer diameter of this circle. Okay, so I'm just going to click on it for now and then to kind of remind myself I'm going to open up the part drawing that I had and the outer diameter here is 1.12. Okay, so I'll come back over here to my part studio and again this diameter right here is going to be 1.12. Okay, so now that that is set, I'll kind of hit OK on that. And then uh, we'll come back out to extrude it. So I'll get to my extrude button up here. And I'm going to create a, um, in terms of the height wise, again, I'm going to check on my height using the drawing. And I believe it was a 1.25. Okay, and again, I'm drawing this up from the middle of the circle. Okay, so 1.25 is the overall height of that portion of the circle. Okay, so I'm just going to make this 1.25. All right, and let's see if here, uh, if I should be able to get a little preview of that. Oops, I never selected. Just kidding. Let's try that again. It's really slow today, sorry. All right, here we go. All right, select your feature. Now it's going up by 1.25 inches. Okay, I'll hit the checkpoint there. And now I also want to make an, uh, a separate cylinder, and it's going to be along this right side view. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to hit sketch, go to my right side view. And again, I'm going to go normal to that plane. Okay, and now on this right side view, I'm going to, again, create my circle. I'm going to start from the origin. And it's going to be the same value that I'm just going to click on it for now and then dimension it. Okay, so now when I go dimension it, I'm going to make that the same 1.12. Again, that's the outer diameter of the T joint. Okay, so I hit check. Now I've got that circle in the middle, and this is what I'm going to actually extrude. So when I go to extrude now, <clears throat> again, the extrude button's right there. I just using my shortcuts. Okay, I'm going to select that circle. Now, instead of blind, I want this to go both ways. So I want it to be symmetric to the right side plane. So it'll go to either side. 
And in total, I want it to go 2.5 inches. All right, and so you can kind of see here the T-joint's already taking, uh, taking shape here. It looks pretty good in terms of dimensions-wise. Uh, and again, notice that this was an add so that it's putting it all together into one part instead of a new piece where it would be two separate cylinders. Okay, so by adding when the parts that intersect, they'll just make it into one piece. Okay, I'll hit the check mark there. Again, typically at this point, I would also be renaming this. For example, this would be the PVC T-joint, uh, something like that. Okay, uh, and then personally, I also like to add a little bit of a fillet on these uh, edges here just to kind of clean it up. Okay. And right now it's suggesting a 0.2 inch. Looking at that, that seems a little bit extreme. So I think I'm going to make that a little bit smaller still. Let's go with 0.1. Yeah, that looks that looks a little better. Okay, so something along those lines. Uh, that portion doesn't have to be exact. It's just to to make the uh, the edges come out a little bit cleaner. All right, hit the checkpoint, and now the last portion of this is shelling it out. Right. So then we use our shell command. Okay. And if you remember the shell command, you can remove faces and it'll also create a shell thickness. Okay, so to remind myself the shell thickness, uh, I'm going to look here at my current dimensions, 1.12 and then 0.88. Okay, so I want the difference between those, so 1.12 uh, subtracted by 0.88. So I'll come back over here. Um, first off, the faces to remove, I want to remove all of the side faces so that it's opened up. Okay, and then for the shell thickness, uh, I believe we can do it like this, 1.12 minus 0.88. Oops, let me take out the equals. All right, and that seems a little bit thicker than I was expecting it to be. Let me see. Uh, those are diameter values, so actually it's half of that to get the radius. So um, let me go back over to that. That's my fault. So I'm going to take that number and divide it by 2. There we go. That looks better. Okay, and so now we've got our general T-joint ready to go. Okay, I'll hit the check mark. And uh, typically speaking, at this point, I would also probably come over here. I might reassign uh, a material to it, right? So, for example, I come in here and I look for um, PVC. Oops, PVC. All right there, it shows up there. And then, if you want to, you can also edit the appearance. At this point, uh, I think this part's more just for fun. If you want to make it a certain color, we'll do. Uh, Northville orange just to make it kind of fun. Okay, so there's our T joint. All right, and it looks like for the sake of making these videos not super long, I'll do the elbow joint separately.